130 beats per minute. For, but it looks as though we're set to go. Excellent as well, but as we shoot down to turn one, Rins has it, but here comes Zarco. He leads into turn one. Mark Marquez, and he's up to fourth place already. Malaysia Spargaro, I think, on Mark Marquez. Has that one for place at the front though? Oh, the front end is moving around there for Pramac Ducati rider Joan Zarco. How good the braking stability of the Suzuki is, but Zarco's 21st place. A disaster for the Top Gun who's misfiring big time. Far to third. Good move from Quattararo. No way, after just five laps, he's going to pull in no. with any physical problems. Is Sargro in for pits early doors? Maverick Vinales is still in. 20th place. Oh, Rins again. That tire to line just released the brakes a little bit later than Joan Zarco, so that's oh, twice in two laps. Right. Someone... Jack Miller crashes out of podium contention then here in Portimao, pain in Portimao. Tararo and fellow Frenchman, the world championship leader, Joan Zarco. Then it's Mir. Alicia touched the throttle or it was like the rear pushed the front, the front let go. Um, just one other moment because he's so clever at not giving the tires a hard I'm sure he's doing that, but that's what I'm waiting to see if he does. Yeah, thanks for, for that, Simon. It's so often Yaya, who had good pace all weekend in terms of race for this position. You're right about Juan Mir as well, Matt. Uh, he's just coming under a bit of attack again now from it was a big one. Mia a 40.3, Rins a 39.7, so six tenths the gap. Well, but look how much he's been able to late for him to have any impact on this Grand Prix. Someone's gone yes, down. Yes, there's been another crash, hasn't there? It is. Valentino Rossi has crashed. What a shame for him because he just hit some decent pace. At the start of this Grand Prix, we had three sets of brothers involved. Marini and Rossi the in the battle, and that's the Marquez brothers, who at the moment are ninth and tenth. And Yaya closes on the no, his time. You don't really have to put in much effort. Marginally better man at the moment. Fabio Quattararo is in that position. That because Banyaya, someone's gone down. Banyaya goes up a place. Who's crashed out? Who's crashed out? He makes blunders at the worst possible time. Well, we said it was him that was putting pressure on Fabio. He's in fourth. This is the battle for second then. Mia is now down and out of the race. Rins blows a podium. Zarco blows a podium. He certainly blows the Bobbio Quattararo. Championship right. Well, survival of the fittest here in Portugal. It's all this but what front row. He may well have been right at the sharp end of this race here in Portugal. Here, Bastianini again. He does this so often. I say so often. It's only been he's only his third Grand Prix, but he comes on. Army Vinales is 11th. Luca Marini 12th. And then it's Petrucci Savadori and Leco. His pain threshold off the scale. Morvedelli can definitely smell a podium. Yamaha rider. This would be the perfect remedy to uh, a grim stuff. <laughs> Binder. Now, <laughs> if Binder catches this group, oh, it's too late, surely. You could just see him in the background. That's a an extra 50% from somewhere because his pace in this race is about a second quicker. Drive by Alicia Spargo on course for a prettiest. Only their six, top six in their MotoGP. What can you say about the man out front at the moment as well, Fabio Quattararo? This is a very different young man. Different proposition to find a way through. Who's that? Who is that on the left there? Uh, that is that. Three, top FP4, top pole was it. Mia, a tenth just over behind Paco Bagnaia. Franco Morbidelli desperately trying. And Morbidelli. Quattararo's live heart rate just came on screen. Shot up to 661 beats from the I thought it was coming up. F Quattararo, grad. Yeah, same. Absolutely the same. <laughs> Threw Alex Rins into a crash. Quattararo is well and truly fired up in 2020. On the Italian, you've got to give an enormous amount of credit to Paco Bagnaia because he really has. Oh, he's getting close. Does he fancy a lunge here, the world championship thing? But ultimately, it's the power of the Ducati that will elude him. Here, an excellent ride from Mor Bastianini, finishing in ninth. And this is a scrap here. Of the field, back-to-back -back wins for the second time in his MotoGP career. And he sees his contents and Joan Zarco. Great ride that by Peko Bagnaia. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant performance.